A decade ago, cash payments dominated the high street, but now they account for just 28% of transactions, and that number is shrinking. But while some areas are welcoming the shift, others are being excluded. I'm in Harlech, a quaint seaside resort in North West Wales that has no free-to-use ATM at all, despite the fact that many of its businesses are cash only. So lots of our takeaway restaurants are cash only. Um, our Indian, the kebab shop, our local Chinese, one of our guest houses is um, cash only as well. Unlike London, Harlech struggles with connectivity issues, so car transactions simply aren't as reliable. Small businesses are also put off by the cost of processing card payments. Up until recently, residents could withdraw money from the town's post office, which was located at this spa. But that's now closed down, leaving locals with no way of accessing their cash without paying a fee. My local branch is in Porth Maddox. I go on the train. It does take, you know, all morning. It's not just a five minute jump in the car job. It really does take half a day. I feel very frustrated by this and angry on behalf of the elderly and vulnerable people who can't, can't get out and they can only have no other option but to use a cash machine where you have to pay. As well as being a considerable inconvenience for locals, the lack of available cash in Harlech has also meant that businesses are suffering as people are shopping elsewhere instead. If people have to go elsewhere, like post my dog, to bank the money, or to draw the money, then they tend to do the shopping there. It's upsetting to see everything closing down. It's on the castle now, really, that attracts people. At the bottom of the hill in Lower Harlech, where most of the residents live, the only ATM available charges £1.75, which many people are struggling to pay. Down here, they, particularly if they haven't got transport, use the tuck shop. They do take cards, you can pay for things. But one thing you can't pay for by card is if you have to prepay for electricity. A lot of people do, a surprising number of people do. So immediately, if you want to put 10 pounds of electricity in and you're on a limited budget, one pound 75 of your 10 pounds is going on getting the 10 pounds. It feels to me all the time as if the bank has made savings and it's coming out of communities that have the fewest choices and the least opportunities for sustainable employment or well-paid employment. Harlech is just one example of a community that simply isn't ready to go cashless. Nearly two million people in the UK rely on cash every day. And that's why we want the government to guarantee that access to cash will be protected for as long as it's needed. Two months later, some good news. After an application for a free ATM was made using the Witch tool, Link announced that Harlech would be getting a cash point. Freya called us with the news. I applied using your tool and then the person whose um, premises the the cash machine, the, the current cash machine is on and hopefully the new cash machine will be on. I think Link got in touch with him. I think it's really good. We miss not having access to free cash in Harlech and I think it probably has had a bit of an impact um, on the town. So overall we're really, really pleased about this. Yeah, thank you. But when we looked into this further, it was unclear exactly when the ATM would be installed. It's likely to take months, and with Harlech's crucial summer season just two months away, things really need to be in place as quickly as possible. While it's not a long-term solution, plugging immediate gaps in access to cash is vital for towns like Harlech. If your community needs better access to cash, use our tool to let Link know and request an ATM.